is your ship, and welcome to another edition of Final Fantasy VI T Edition. Because someone in the comments of a previous video seemed interested in knowing how I got my team to such a high level at such an early phase of the game, I'll show you. And I purposely picked this party in this much later phase of the game so that they can just auto-grind. You'll see. Notice how we have Seals for Runic, Realm for Sketching, we have Gao who is Raging General for Slow, and we have Setzer who is using Slots. Now, for Slots, this is the intended effect, that we just get the healing. So Setzer is here for the infinite healing with no mana cost, and if you do this enough times, you can get 500 of each of the relevant character builds. 500 sketches, 500 runics, and 500 slots. And the game expects you to do this if you want to get all the costumes for stat boosts later in the game, because whoever made this really values grinding, and I don't like it. Now, the way that I did uh, did things earlier in the game was just put this on fa on fasting uh, on fast forward, enable the toggled fast forward mode. Just sit here, hold down the button, or perhaps even better, hold down a button with you know, say a closed bottle of water or some other weight, and then you'll get there. What's even better is if you go up here to the settings and change the skip rendering to the maximum of 600. You go back here, and now you're watching this skippy slideshow, and you're just getting through the fights faster, everyone's taking their turns faster, and you can get to the more interesting part of the game faster. And as you might have noticed earlier, I used some Game Genie codes to get Gao all of his rages because... The game just wants you to grind, and I don't like grinding. I've already beaten the base game of this plenty of times. I've beaten various mods, and I want to get to the fun part of the game. Now, I'm doing this, this video primarily as a tutorial, because that way you know what to do if you want to expedite this grind and you want to get this stuff. And I will stress this point. If you want to, sorry, if you want to do this Elite River grinding, do it now, as in do it before heading to the Floating Continent, because you will very likely lose access to this uh, to this uh, spot after the Floating Continent. So trust me. Now, if you have Ben in the group like you like you normally have initially, he will just automatically heal everyone if you use the Health or the Prey command. Setzer, in this edition, if you just tell him to use slots and you uh, just hold down Turbo A, or Turbo Accept, he will heal every time. This is different than in some uh, some mods which alternate between, uh, for example, healing and bombing runs. Either way works. But the point is that Setzer is doing enough free healing so that everyone stays at or around full continually, and everyone in your party is immune, and I do mean immune to poison, so that you aren't being dotted to death, and it's really, uh, and it's not pleasant, because you want to make this as fast and as painless as possible. Now, after we finish with this fight, we'll see how far we are into the at 500 for each ability you grind. And for this, we will just make a save state, because we have to. There's no way to, to easily go back aside from a save state or rewind. Proceed with this, we easily beat this fight. I said easily, not necessarily quickly. It's whenever...
You know what? Let's just attack this thing. Point is made. So, let's go to status. We have Steel Mastered, meaning we've done 500 times, at least. Runic Mastered, same thing, 500 times. Rages, it says 240, even though he has uh, 256 due to a bug. For, uh, due to a bug, it only displays as 240, even though he has all 256, because I I, I put in something like 30 game, 31, 32 Game Genie codes, or Pro Action Replay codes, just to ensure he got all his all of his rages. And he has his slots ma mastered, meaning we are done with this loop. Now, if you want to do this loop with someone else, you can. For example, you could swap out her, her, or him, but especially her, if you just want to use Locky instead to get the 500 steals for him, for him to get his achievement so that he can get his better outfit later. And if you pick up Shadow soon after the Battle of Narshi, you can... Uh, you can bring him here, and he can more easily get his 250 Twin Fang counters that way if you equip him with high physical evasion gear, including relics. That, uh, if you're doing it then, he won't have, you won't have access to Setzer for the free healing, but bring seals, bring a bunch of healing items, and you'll be fine. Now this part, uh, part of the game is fairly familiar to those who are familiar with it from the vanilla version, or who remember it from my Let's Play. Let's just head south, and you'll see. Yep, this is a faster way to get from Nikea all the way around the uh, uh, all the way around the South Figaro to Mount Colts to Returner Hideout to Elite River to what was normally the Velt the first time here back to your airship. It's a shortcut. It might be available in, in vanilla. I've never done it in vanilla, but I know what works in this. So I'm just showing you this interesting stuff, just in case you want to do it as part of your farming if you're playing this game. So, good night and God bless. Thank you.